Hi everyone, my name is Gretchen and today I'm going to show you two different arts and crafts activities that you can do using materials you can find around the house. The first activity is going to be a drawing where we can create our own animal. The second activity is going to be making an outdoor bird feeder. For this activity, all you will need is something to draw with and a piece of paper. When drawing, rather than focusing on accuracy, I like to just use my imagination and creativity to draw whatever. So I'm starting by just drawing some random shapes. You can do circles, squares, squiggles, anything you want. Just some baseline shapes. Next, we can add some details. So I like adding ears, eyes, noses, little polka dots for freckles, or really just anything you want. Here I'm adding some ears, they kind of look like cat ears. And then I'm going to add some eyes. I add a little nose, it's kind of like a cat nose. And then some whiskers, fittingly. And I gave it a little smile. Remember, this activity is all about being creative and just adding whatever you want to your little drawing. So I added some feet and a tail. You can give them hair or freckles, spikes, you can give them legs and arms, eyeballs, a smile or a frown, whatever you want. You can even give it a name when you're done. So these are my creatures that I created. I think they're super cool and I bet yours are too and I hope you had fun doing this little drawing activity with me. It's a great way to de-stress or just to have an outlet for your creativity and your thoughts. The next activity is a homemade bird feeder. This activity you will need pumpkin or sunflower seeds or oats and then also peanut butter, an empty paper towel or toilet paper roll and some string. You also need a pair of scissors and either a butter knife or a spoon to spread the peanut butter. First we're going to cut a big piece of string, mine was about a foot and a half long. Then you weave it through your empty paper towel roll and then tie a knot at the top. Now with the peanut butter, you can spread it over your toilet paper roll using either a spoon or butter knife. You want to make sure that your roll is completely covered in a good layer of peanut butter. The last step is using the seeds to cover your toilet paper roll. So with the peanut butter now on your roll, you can cover it in your seeds either by 
rolling it in a bowl or just placing them on there with your hands. And then you will have a finished bird feeder that looks like this. And you can just place it outside or hang it on a tree for the birds. <laughs>